Hello and welcome back to the shop. Today I'm continuing on and trying to restore this uh, older vehicle that I own. And one of the problems is with this vehicle is the the grill uh, has got a bunch of dents on these aluminum strips. So I went online and tried to find some original manufacturer ones, and they're either ungodly expensive or just no longer available. Um, so I ended up ordering from an aftermarket company that promises these to be a direct fit and they kind of look and feel like the proper units but there's a few problems with them. Number one is none of them are actually cut to length properly. Number two is these are cut square and with razor sharp burrs on them. The problem with that is um, this grill actually folds this way so it, th there's an angle and also the center bar has the same angle as this it's actually fairly symmetrical and that angle turns out to be 16 degrees uh, the problem is I didn't have any 16 degree uh, I didn't have any real way to do repetitive work for a 16 degree cut on my milling machine so I ended up uh, 3D printing my own 16 degree wedge here that goes into the vise it's just couple of thou under what uh, this aluminum strip is so it actually helps prevent it from being crushed the other thing is that I did was I 3d printed these little pieces here that go inside of the aluminum strips so when I actually cut them with the end mill a little piece of the plastic gets cut too but it doesn't allow the vise to actually crush this and it actually gives me a nice solid lock um, so at least that's the game plan I'm gonna show you guys actually cutting this and hopefully I'll show you guys the end result so first things first let's put this uh, little wedge in here on the vise and it should just go towards the end the full spacing is not that important and here's a reinforcement strip that should be able to go right in here careful not to stab yourself and this thing it's a little finagly but should be able to okay. make sure I don't want to give it too much crunk but enough and here should be fairly close as to what I want to cut turn on the milling machine That looked like it did a fairly reasonable job. Now let's pull this out. Hopefully we have something that's fairly repeatable and uh, halfway decent. As you can tell, hopefully can you guys tell, this has now got an angle to it. Uh, a little bit of deburring with a slight file remove this spacer and we should be able to get it close to actually installing it now this is the end result all six of the 
bars have been replaced and the center bar has also been replaced. They've all been milled at uh, 16 degree angles so the actual fit is pretty decent. Um, the ends have been crimped same as the factory ones were and uh, the fit and finish is um, I would say it's about 98% of the way there at this point. Um, I think these bars could have been a better quality. I'm not going to link these in the description to anybody who wants to buy these. You're going to have to figure it out yourself. Uh, but um, there, there's, there's more to be desired for the price, I would say. But with that said, I'm quite happy. This, this came out, after some work, this came out pretty darn nice. I think this is going to look pretty decent on my uh, 300 SD. Um, I do have to polish this uh, grill up a little bit with some mag uh, wheel polish or something along those lines. And I will at some point or another. Uh, for now, this is just going to go back in the car and uh, I'm going to start looking at it. So thanks for watching and please subscribe and share if you want to share. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.